Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the Maker and the Possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Ibona, and this is David Ibona Ministries. Today is our prayer, healing, and deliverance service. I am going to be praying for the sick, for the demonized, and for the oppressed. And our scripture emphasis will be Isaiah chapter 53. So I encourage you to come on, share the video to as many people as you can, and on various platforms. The Lord is going to heal you, deliver you, He's going to bless you according to your need. And He's going to use you to bless others through your sharing of this video and podcast. Let us begin with prayer. Because it's not enough for me to just come and start praying for you. It is important that I pray with you. One would chase a thousand, two would chase ten thousand. That's what the scripture says. So our prayer are at least ten times more powerful, more effective when we pray in agreement so wherever you are i am in agreement with you you are in agreement with me you will receive your healing and breakthrough let's begin by giving god thanks the bible says i will enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise so give him thanks oh lord thank you we thank you that we are alive. We thank you we see this day. We thank you for what you have done for us. We thank you for your goodness, for your wonderful works towards us. We thank you, Lord God, for you have been so merciful and kind. You have lifted us up when we were down. You have strengthened us when we were weak. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You alone are worthy to be praised and adored. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory. Now and forevermore, we thank you. You are faithful, Lord. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, thank you. I want you to thank you for that particular event in your life. That thing that happened. What you did, you're going to walk. The ideas you had. The ideas you have put to use. Thank you for those things that you know about that I don't know about give him thanks for his for answering your prayers all this while thank you Now I want you to let go of any form of bitterness in your heart. If there is any bitterness in your heart, let go of it right now. Let go of that bitterness. The Bible says that bitterness defiles. It defiles. So you let go of the bitterness. Hallelujah. Let go of bitterness. Ask the Lord to remove bitterness out of your heart. Ask Him to remove bitterness out of your heart. To take it out of your heart. Ask the Lord to take bitterness out of your heart. And you also let go of every offense. If you are angry with someone, if anyone has hurt you, yes, they have hurt you, but it is your nature as a believer in Christ to forgive. God has commanded us to forgive. 
So we are to forgive, not because they have apologized, but because it is our nature to forgive. And so you are to forgive. Let go of that offense. Just let go of that offense. Forgive anyone who has offended you. It is not worth it to have anger and bitterness in your heart. The Bible says if you do not forgive, God won't forgive you. So it's good you forgive. Just declare with your mouth you are forgiving that individual. You can mention the person's name or describe the person. And then command that presence of bitterness to leave you. I want you to ask the Lord to forgive your sins. Confess your sins unto him, asking him to forgive you. Asking him to forgive you. Asking him to forgive you. Talk to the Lord. Father, thank you for your merciful and kind. Thank you, Lord. Forgive our sins. Forgive our sins. Cleanse us of all our righteousness. Heal our hearts, O oh Lord. Heal our minds. Restore our souls, O oh God. Restore our souls. Let your healing power flow, O oh God. Lord, have mercy. Forgive the anger, the bitterness, the loss, the adultery, the immorality, sexual immoralities. Foolish speaking, lack of faith. Forgive, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. And those of you who are listening, if you are not born again, I want you to give your hearts to Jesus Christ right now. There is no one who can help us other than God. The help of man is temporal. It will at most last a lifetime. But for eternity, it is only the help of God that comes. So if you are listening to me, you are not born again, this is an opportunity for you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Just do it right now. Do it right now. Ask the Lord to be your master. Say, Lord Jesus, be my master, be my savior be my Lord. I surrender my life to you. Just talk to him like that. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my sins. From now on, I, I am yours. I will live for you. Help me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Keep me holy and righteous till I meet you. And pray like that. He has heard you. You are a new creation. You are a new creation. And you are entitled to everything spoken in the scriptures. The promises God made to Jesus Christ are extended to you. God told Abraham, In you and your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. He was referring to Jesus. And God has promised Jesus a lot of things. And those promises also are for us because we are a part of him. We are his body. And one of those things that he has given us is healing. Healing. And I'm going to be praying right now for those who are sick. Whatever that sickness is, the Lord is able to heal you. I want to read Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53. I'm going to read from verse 4. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Now, this is what happened. Jesus Christ took the punishment. 
he took the point for I'm outside, so you may hear various sounds. I'm sitting outside. Jesus took the punishment that we were to take. Jesus Christ, by his blood, paid for your healing of whatever sickness and however this, you got that sickness. Either it came as an attack of the enemy or it came through uh, uh, natural circumstances or it came because of sin. There are sicknesses that come because of sin. And that is the reason why I asked everyone to repent of their sins. And that is, the reason, that is why it is because there are sicknesses that come because of a sin you have committed. It, it is like a curse that comes as a result of that sin. There were instances in the Bible where Jesus Christ looked at a sick person and said, rather sick people and said, your sins are forgiven you. And immediately they were healed. It was that sin that placed the judgment of sickness upon that person. And that is why we, we started by confessing and repenting of all sins. And so I encourage you to, to trust the Lord that he has healed you as we pray. Receive that healing. Knowing full well that however that sickness came, that sickness is going away. That sickness will go away, however it came. He was wounded, he was bruised for our iniquities. So you have no reason, when you ask him for forgiveness, you have no reason to not forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for making those mistakes. Forgive yourself. Forgive those who have hurt you. Because sometimes unforgiveness on its own brings sickness. When there is bitterness in your heart, sickness comes. When you have refused to forgive and let go, you experience sicknesses in some cases. So now let those things go. Forgive yourself also because he has forgiven you. Father, I thank you for everyone that is in contact with this video, contact with this podcast. Lord, I pray that your healing power will touch them, that your healing power will get to them. Wherever they are, I pray, Heavenly Father, that your healing power will locate them. I pray, Lord God, that those who have bedridden will rise up. Those who are in the bondage of depression, and mental illness will be set free right now. I pray, Lord, that your healing power will move mightily, will flow, oh God, everywhere. Lord, I pray, even those people who are not directly participating in this service, but who are being prayed for, their case is presented to you by those who are participating in this service, I pray Lord God, that your healing power would reach them. Your healing power will touch them. I pray, Father, right now, that Lord you, your presence will be everywhere this service is participated in. And everywhere where people whose cases are being presented to you. Ah, I pray in the name of Jesus. Forgive, Lord God, those who have sinned. Forgive, Heavenly Father, those who have held on to past uh, faults, have been bitter and unforgiving. Lord, I pray you will forgive them. I pray that yoke of bitterness be broken, that unforgiveness, that root of unforgiveness be removed. I pray that you give them the grace to forgive and let go of the past. I pray, Heavenly Father, that every sickness, that is as a result of sin, even as you have forgiven and had mercy, Lord, I pray that that sickness be removed. I pray that that sickness and the symptoms of that sickness will leave in the name of Jesus Christ. And I take authority over every sickness that has been, that is as a result of witchcraft attack, demonic curses, curses by agents of darkness. I break those curses in the name of Jesus. Every sickness that is a direct result of satanic oppression, I command that sickness to cease to go in Jesus' name. I break those curses. I break those curses. 
I release these sick ones to enjoy divine health. I release them to be healthy now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break the curse of sickness and disease. I break the curse of oppression. In the name of Jesus, I lose those who are bound. I lose everyone Satan has bound. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I lose you from that bound, from that bondage of the devil. I lose you right now from that chain of darkness. I release you. I release your health in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Rise up and walk. Cripple, rise up and walk you will no more be crippled from now on bedridden rise up and walk rise up you are healed wherever you are you are healed in jesus name i command every sick every spirit of infirmity every demon of infirmity to live right now in the name of jesus be gone from him be gone from her in the mighty name of Jesus, I command you, spirits of infirmity, loose your hold on these ones and be gone in Jesus' name. I release them from your hold in the mighty name of Jesus. That instrument, that token that is being used in satanic altars to afflict this person, in the name of Jesus, I destroy that token. I destroy that token by the fire of God in the name of Jesus, wherever wherever your name has been taken to for satanic rituals i destroy those altars by the fire of god in the name of jesus i destroy those altars i set the priest of those altars on fire in the name of jesus i destroy the tokens of those altars whatsoever is used to represent you in that altar whatsoever is used to connect you to that altar is destroyed in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy spirit every oppression every demonic case every demonic oppression and possession ends now in jesus name i command every foul spirit afflicting you and oppressing you to go now in jesus name you demons you demons of oppression and possession i command you be gone come out in the name of jesus come out of him come out of her right now in the mighty name of jesus you evil spirits i command you to lose your hold i expel you from these ones right now i expel you from him i expel you from her in the name of jesus you are expelled out in jesus name out in the name of jesus every device of the enemy that has been placed in these bodies every satanic device every demonic device placed in the bodies of these people i command them to be removed and destroyed in jesus name i destroy those demonic devices those charms placed in their bodies those poisons in the name of jesus i remove and destroy them I release these people from the hold of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you. I release you. I release you. You are healed. You are free. You are set free right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the curses. Those curses of failure, of confusion. Of backwardness in the name of Jesus I break those curses right now I take authority over the powers behind the dreams you have been having dreams of being back to where you were years ago dreams of being in the high school or primary school that you attended grade school you attended years ago dreams of you being in locations you have long left that is a sign of, that there is a power that is drawing you back in life, that is hindering your progress. I take authority over those demonic powers. In the name of Jesus, I break that yoke of backwardness. I break the yoke of backwardness that, is, that has been upon you. In the name of Jesus, 
I break the yoke of backwardness. I break the yoke of failure. I break the yoke of poverty. I break those yokes in the name of Jesus. I command every curse, curse of failure, curse of backwardness, of non-achievement, every curse of such be broken in Jesus' name. And I set you free from the powers that have held you bound. The powers that have kept you from moving forward. I set you free from them. In the name of Jesus, you are free and you are free indeed. The Son of God has set you free. Whom the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. You have been set free by the Son of Man and the Son of God. Jesus Christ. You are set free. You are free indeed. You are set free. Rise up and do what you could not do before. You are free. You are healed. You are delivered. In the name of Jesus. And I bless you. I bless you. You will prosper. You will walk in good health. You will have peace. You will have a family. I speak restoration to that broken marriage. I speak restoration to that broken family in the name of Jesus I speak restoration I speak restoration that which you have lost you will recover in the name of Jesus the thief that has stolen your that stole your peace stole your finances stole your your property and that which was which you are entitled to is the devil the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, when the thief is caught, he will be made to pay seven times. Even if it means he said he has to pay with everything in his house. The devil has been caught. So right now, you are going to command the devil to return seven times over what he stole. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 30 and 31. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry but if he be found he shall restore sevenfold he shall give all the substance of his house so you are going to command the thief to restore that thing that has been stolen you know what has been stolen from you whether it was a job whether it was your husband your wife your your peace whether it was um, your money whatever it is that you know you ought to have, but for some strange reason, you don't have it. You are going to command the thief to return it now. With your own mouth, with authority, command the thief to return. Do that now. Say, Satan, you stole this from me. You mentioned that thing. As, in the name of Jesus, I command you to return it seven times over. According to the word of God in Proverbs chapter 6, I command you to return it seven times over. Now, command the devil. You mentioned that thing. Satan, you stole this from me. I command you to return it seven times over. Command the devil to return that thing that he stole from you. Command him to return it. Command him to return it. In Jesus' mighty name, command him to return it. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Command what as many as you know have been stolen from you. Command them to be restored. To be returned. Rather, to be returned to you. It happens. You are going to see those things come back to you. People will call you and say, oh sorry. I took this from you. Have it back. Now begin to thank the Lord for what he has done for you today. Thank him for what you have received, the deliverance, the healing that you have received. That the curses in your life have been broken. In the name of Jesus, any force attacking and hindering your relationship with God, I tear it down. I destroy it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for answering our prayers. To you be all the glory. In 
in Jesus' name. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Yahweh cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you. I am David Ibonah.